Hello, and a very warm welcome to LNT Royal YouTube channel. Some more updates for you tonight. Prince Charles has contracted coronavirus and may have been contagious just 24 hours after last seeing his mother the Queen, who is feeling well but has been taking medical advice since her son fell ill, it was revealed today. The Prince of Wales tested positive yesterday and is in self-isolation at Balmoral Castle in Scotland with the Duchess of Cornwall, who is without any symptoms for the virus. Charles has fallen ill just a fortnight after meeting coronavirus-stricken Prince Albert of Monaco, who tested positive five days ago after he sat opposite the Prince of Wales at a Waterate event in London on March 10. Prince of Wales was last at Buckingham Palace on March 12 for investitures, where he briefly saw the Queen, and his illness will raise fears for the health for elderly royals including his mother and Prince Philip, who are together at Windsor Castle. William and Kate are at Enmer Hall in Norfolk, while Harry and Meghan are back in Canada. A Clarence House spokesman said, The Prince of Wales has tested positive for coronavirus. He has been displaying mild symptoms but otherwise remains in good health and has been working from home throughout the last few days as usual. The Duchess of Cornwall has also been tested but does not have the virus. In accordance with government and medical advice, the Prince and the Duchess are now self-isolating at home in Scotland. The spokesman said it was impossible to say where he caught it from because of the large number of public engagements he has carried out in recent weeks, but it will raise questions over whether he got it from Albert and if he has spread it himself. A royal source said Charles, doctor's most conservative estimate, was that the prince was contagious on March 13 to 24 hours after he last saw his mother. A Buckingham Palace spokesman has said, Her Majesty the Queen remains in good health. The Queen last saw the Prince of Wales briefly on the morning of March 12 and is following all the appropriate advice with regard to her welfare. Until he fell ill, the heir to the throne has been continuing to carry out public engagements despite the coronavirus crisis, but has avoided shaking hands, instead using a namaste gesture. But despite avoiding close contact with people he has caught COVID-19, and it came days after a member of Buckingham Palace staff tested positive for coronavirus. The royal family appeared to have already prepared for the eventuality that one of them could be diagnosed with coronavirus having been split up across Britain, away from London. The Queen is with Prince Philip at Windsor Castle, Prince William and Kate are at Amner Hall in Norfolk, and Charles and Camilla are at Balmoral in Aberdeenshire. Charles's last public engagement was on March 12, as he did have a number of private meetings with Hygro and Duchy individuals, all of whom have been made aware. They added that Charles has not seen the Queen since before March 13. A small number of people living and working at Burkhall are remaining at the residence and self-isolating. The source said the prince and the duchess remained in good spirits, and the prince was up and about and not bedridden. Medical advice is that it is unlikely to escalate into a more serious case. Charles has spoken to his sons the Duke of Cambridge and the Duke of Sussex, as well as the Queen. Charles had been displaying mild symptoms over the weekend before being tested on Monday. The heir to the throne's last public engagement was on March 12, when he attended a mansion house dinner hosted by William Russell, Lord Mayor of the City of London, and George Brandis, the High Commissioner for Australia, in aid of the Australian bushfire relief and recovery effort. Sometime during the day the Prince saw the Queen privately. He last saw the Queen at a public event on Monday, March 9, when senior royals including the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex attended the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey. Charles' health has been relatively robust. Last November, the Prince of Wales was seen with painfully swollen hands and feet during the first day of his royal tour in India, sparking concerns for his health. Another Analysis what will happen to Meghan Markle's royal wardrobe after she steps down? Meghan, Duchess of Sussex had to make quite a few changes to her wardrobe when she became a member of the royal family. But even with strict guidelines to follow, Harry's wife showed off an impeccable style and almost always stepped out looking super chic. Meghan even landed on Vogue's list of best-dressed women of 2019. 
The publication noted that her streamlined wardrobe is emblematic of a woman who epitomizes modern thinking royalty. But what will happen to her regal outfits when she and Harry officially leave royal life behind? Here's more on that, plus what the Duchess will be able to accept now that she wasn't allowed to as a senior royal. Can she keep all the clothes in her closet now? Since the former actress accumulated her royal wardrobe as a working member of the prince's family, many are wondering what will happen to all those amazing outfits post-Mexit. After the Sussexes announced their decision to step back as senior royals and become financially independent, everyone assumed the pair would no longer have their wardrobe paid for. Many thought that meant the days of seeing Meghan rocking high-end fashion labels would be a thing of the past, however. Several reports have stated that Prince Charles is still going to pick up the tab for their clothes. The BBC noted that the couple will continue to receive money from Harry's father under the new agreement, although it is unclear whether this will come from the duchy, his personal wealth, or a combination of the two. That agreement will be reviewed after one year. As for the clothes Meghan already has, royal expert Emma Forbes said the Duchess will be able to retain the monarchy-funded wardrobe she acquired as a royal. Recently, she's worn everything from Club Monaco to the Nano Republic. She can now accept these and work closely with designers. When she was a working royal, Meghan was prohibited from accepting gifts from designers. But that won't be the case anymore, and even if her father-in-law were to pull his funds, the Duchess of Sussex would have her choice of designers who would offer to dress her for appearances and send her free pieces to wear. For any designer, the PR that you get from someone like Meghan wearing your clothes is worth a fortune, so I'm sure people will still desperately try to dress her even when she's out in Vancouver at the supermarket. Meghan had been speaking to some fashion houses about ad campaigns. There have already been active discussions with Gaventi. Some of these deals could be worth millions. It's also believed that the royal family has no plans of asking for any of the jewelry back that Meghan has been given including Princess Diana's aquamarine ring. In other news, Prince Harry said final goodbye to ex-Chelsea Davy, at leaving party with pals after Meghan Markle returned to Canada. The Duke was alone in London after Meghan returned to Canada immediately after their final appearance together at the Commonwealth Day ceremony two weeks ago. Blair Chelsea, it did Harry on and off for seven years from 2004 before they finally split 2011. The longtime girlfriend and Harry stayed in touch but decided to end any contact after he married Meghan in May 2018. Harry met up with Chelsea after friends arranged a leaving bash while Meghan was back in Canada with Archie. A friend said, Harry knew it would be impossible to see all his pals individually so a few of them decided to organize a gathering before he returned to Canada. Harry was beaming when he walked into the room and everyone was there waiting for him. He couldn't believe his eyes when he saw Chelsea. A serious connection. He gave her the biggest hug. He was thrilled she was there. She and Harry have a serious connection. Spending time with people he cares about dearly reminded Harry of the good old days when he didn't have a care in the world. He's gotten in trouble with her before for drinking too much and staying out late. Nothing happened between Harry and Chelsea and deep down Meghan trusts him. Royal experts claimed Harry wanted to marry Chelsea, but she did not enjoy living in the limelight. Meghan is believed to have left London immediately after appearing with Harry at the Commonwealth Day Ceremony at Westminster Abbey on Monday, March 10. Harry stayed in London for a few extra days before joining his family in Canada. Chelsea's recent interview with Tatler magazine. The tell-all, which came out late last month as Harry and Meghan were completing their final royal engagements, saw Chelsea speak frankly about the level of public scrutiny she dealt with during her seven-year relationship with the prince. This is a real show of support for Harry, but with Meghan, with it being an ex and Chelsea of all exes, I don't think she will be too happy. Chelsea also used the interview to confirm her new romance. Yes, there is someone, and I am quite taken by this one, but it's very new and I don't want to say too much, she revealed. But when specifically asked about Harry and Meghan, the blonde beauty remained tight-lipped. I would really rather not say anything about Harry and Meghan, she responded us. 
Please support growing LMD Royal channel by subscribe channel, like and share videos us. Your support is the motivation for us to produce better videos. If you have any suggestions for us, please leave your comments below. Don't stop.